time for another album ranking. That's right, we're ranking Impaled Nazarene's discography from my least favourite in C tier, all the way to my favourite in S tier. There's no D. We're not giving you the D today. There's no Fs. There's no terrible Impaled Nazarene album. Contrary to popular belief, and by popular I mean this, guys, because I had a video. Black metal bands I cannot get into. Guess what was on it? This band. That's right. I couldn't get into this band for a long time, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you the album that stopped me from getting into them. Um, but yeah, I eventually broke through. You know, I crawled my way through the womb, and now we're here to talk about this amazing Finnish band. This batshit crazy band. Whoa, the lyrics are just insane, and the music is just as furious and insane as the lyrics are. Love it. Unapologetic. Just a really fun band. Like, the word fun and black metal doesn't go hand in hand, but it does with these guys, because they make it for fun. So, let's start with Tors Comp... Is it Tors Comp... Nas, Nas, Nas? Tor Comp, Nors, Nors, Nors. Close. Close, but no cigar. So, here's the thing. Yeah. Are you ready to hit that dislike button? <laughs> this is my least favourite album. This is the album I couldn't get into. This stopped me from liking the band. This album right here. I love the artwork. The artwork's probably the best one they've done. In fact, it is the best one they've done. I love this artwork so much. So I thought, holy crap, this this logo is sick. This artwork is amazing. The music's going to be like hellish, brutal. It's going to be like, I don't know, um, any, name any black man, like Amadu. <laughs> it's going to be like that, but on speed. And it kind of is, but there was so many weird, annoying noises in this album, it threw me right off. Like, almost every other song, there's something annoying going on in this album. And it still is annoying to me. I don't like it as much as all the others, but it is growing on me. You know, this is the album that stopped me from liking them. And I know a lot of people say it's one of the best. Eh, you're entitled to your own opinion. For me, it stopped me from liking them. Kind of like with Panopticon, Kentucky, they say it's one of the best. Stop me from liking that. Um, yeah, this this album didn't do much for me. Um, on repeated listens, it's growing. But I still would say it's the worst one they've done. Yeah, I know. Get your pitchforks out. Ready to stab good old Questy. Uh, you got a spicy take on this one. But yeah, nah, never been a fan. But it is growing. But that is the wall for me. That is the wall. Urga Karma, on the other hand, really good. Not S tier, like most people would say, but really good. It, like, takes everything from the debut, just improves upon it. Like, the riffs, the melodies, the chaoticness is more cohesive on this album. There's no annoying parts. This is, like, the less annoying version of this. Still raw, still primal, still in that kind of, I don't know, avant-garde-ish black metal style. Um, let's get Urga Karma up. What, what a great artwork as well. This is so good. This is shit. This is great. Uh, Vishnu is just like... Fucking laser beams. Um, the songs on here, the horny and the horned. What are the best Impaled Nazarene songs? Soul Rape. <laughs> I love it. Um, the songs are so good. Goat Seed. Um, this album is a classic. Most people say it's the best one they've done. I can say it's a very good album... But I actually prefer other albums, surprisingly enough. But it is in A tier. Um, for me, I just like the style of others more, which you may get to see in a bit. So next up is Samoy Finland Berkele, which is on the same kind of level. Um, it's probably more catchy than Urga Karma. I might put it a little bit higher. Yeah, I like this one a little bit more. Um, what is that? That war, total war. What a sexy song that is. Uh, let's bring it up. Bring it up. I love the artwork as well. The lion and the um the sword. Blood is thicker than water. And it's Total War Winter War. Such a great, great song that one is. Um <laughs> Ghetto Blaster. Fantastic song. It I love it. I love it. I know it's infamous due to nationalistic themes, but I don't really care. Not Turn on Morton's one of my favourites, Drew's literally my favourite. So I like I like the Finnish kind of pride stuff. It sounds it's good to me. I like it. Um, this album I just think it's a little bit better than Urga. Smidge, but they're on the same level. Both eight here. 
Next up, we have Latex Cult, which I think is pretty good. Um, where am I going to put that, though? I'm going to put it in A as well. I'm going to put it in B for now. I don't think it quite hit the nail on the head like these two. Not quite. Um, but it's still a really fantastic album. Uh, let's bring it up. 1996. Uh, let's, let's have a look. Kamakedon Warriors was fun. Bashing in heads. Motor penis. Great one. Um, I eat pussy for breakfast. <laughs> It's fun. Um, the album cover, the uncensored album cover with the weird ass nipples and the demon baby. One of the best artworks ever. But this one's terrible. Like, what is that art? No, thank you. It's fine. It's just um, it didn't hit the high notes of these two. I feel like these two just did it much, much better. And next up, what is this terrible art? This this art is is trash. But the album itself is really damn good. So let's move on. Rapture. The um the art for Rapture has like the gas mask um thing going on, which it doesn't show here, which is kinda sad because that's the best best art. But this sound is like when they started to go into that kind of more I don't want to say speed metal, but like kind of speedy, blast beaty, just craziness they'll be known for from here on out, and I like that style the best, to be honest. So I like this the best, um, alongside some others, which we'll get to. That kind of Marduk Nightwing era, Panzer Division, that shit is just golden to me, and it started with Rapture, so gotta give it some love. Great songs on here, Iron Fist with an Iron Will, um, Goat Vomit and Gas Masks, that's a classic. Um... Love it. Next up we have Nihil. 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 It feels like I'm playing Elden Ring again. Um, this one has Alexi Leheo on. One of my favourite guitarists of all time. Um, what a shredder. So the guitar work on this one is phenomenal. But I don't think the songs are as good as on any of these. Which is why it's in beta. It was also banned. I'm pretty sure. Was it Germany it was banned in? Yeah, Germany. It can't be advertised in public or sold to minors, which is crazy because um, of zero tolerance. But it's not just zero tolerance. Like some of these songs are great in the heel. Um, Human Proof is fantastic. Angel Rectum Still Bleed the sequel. Too many good songs on this one. Great art as well. But it just doesn't hit the high notes of these. So you're thinking you've put all the classic ones low. What's going to be in S tier? Well, first one in S tier. <laughs> Absence of peace does not mean... Fuck that up, didn't I? Absence of war does not mean peace. Again, I love the album art on this one, but this is that kind of... I don't know, war metal -y, Not war metal. Like, like furious blast-beating metal that I kind of love in Pale Nazarene 4. This isn't the album that got me into it, but it's one of the ones where I was like, yeah, this is, this is flawless. I love this era of the band. Just catchy as hell. All the songs on here are catchy. Absence of War, amazing. Hard Boiled and Still Hellbound, amazing. Humble Fuck of Death, come on. All these songs, absolutely fantastic. It's one of the catchiest albums you've done. And I love the kind of punky style. I love the, the heavy punky style. Following on, this is in S tier as well for me. The next up, All That You Fear. And again, carrying on with that sound. Armageddon Death Squad, The Maggot Crusher, The Endless War. Endless War is amazing. Um, Suffering Silence. All That You Fear, Urgent Need to Kill. All these are just great. It reminds me of kind of like Kill Era Cannon Corpse as well. Just furious blasting you over the head over and over and over again. Uh, I'd go to so far to even put that one step higher for me. But my favourite album by them is the next one. Yes, the finished one. Uh, this is the album I liked the the first. I put it on my Instagram. I checked this one out after not really liking the others. Like, I checked out the debut. I checked out Erg, and I was like, oh, this is all right. <laughs> checked out this one. Blew my head off. I fucking love it. The, every single song on here is 10 out of 10 for me. I love it. Goat Sodomy. The way they scream Goat Sodomy. The lyrics on here are so funny. Like, this is such a funny band. 
Like, they don't, they don't give a shit. Cancer's amazing. Um, the first one, Weapons to Tame a Land. Um, and the second one, Something Sinister. And the lyrics are like, I can smell that pussy. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? And one of the lyrics is, um, I must be retarded. Or so. <laughs> the lyrics are crazy. The lyrics are really crazy. They really don't give a shit on this album. Something about, I hope you have HIV and die. I'm just like, these lyrics are crazy. The music's furious. It's just all out fun. This is the most fun album out of all of them. Some people say it's the worst. You could say it's too patriotic, whatever. They're just having a good time. They're having fun and the music shreds. And this is my favorite, easily. Easily my favorite. So these three, just goddamn good. And then we have Manifest, which is going to see. You had a streak going on there. Look at all these great albums. And then boom, Manifest comes out. Probably, if this wasn't so annoying, Manifest would be my least favorite. There's something about it, I just, I don't know. I felt like it was just getting into routine and all these songs start to become a bit boring um, from this one. Manifest just didn't do much for me, to be honest. Um, I can't really put my finger on why, but it is one of my least favourites. Um, but then, after Manifest, which I didn't care for really at all, Road to the Octagon came out, and it's actually pretty damn good. You know, it's pretty damn good. It's probably pretty there. Road to the Octagon. Similar kind of style as these ones, um, but just not as good. But some of these songs are really good. The Day of Reckoning, Under Attack, um, Cult of the Goat, these are great. Great albums, cool artwork with them hanging from the um, the lights. I love it. I love it. Um, I could put it in A as well, really. But no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it in B. Actually, am I? You know what? Yeah, let's put it in A. I do like it quite a lot. Yeah, we're being nice today, because I, I, I kind of am going to get hate for this. So we're going to be nice. Next up is Vigorous and Liberating Death. Which is such a cool um, album cover with the demon and the flaming sword looking again like an Elden Ring boss. This is good. Um, this will probably go there. I like Latex Cult and Nihil a bit more. But this one, it has good songs, but the production on it, I don't know. There's something muffly about the production. I don't know if they're trying to go back to this kind of early style. And it works. But I don't know. It just feels weird after coming after all these n kind of cleaner production styles going back to this one is a bit strange some people might like that more um i think it just works better on these older albums to be honest but the songs themselves absolutely killer flaming sword of satan amazing apocalypse from principle um hostis human eye generousist all these songs are great um it just doesn't hold a candle to some of the others and finally, Eight-Headed Serpent is probably the top of C for me. This is the latest one. It, yeah, it sounds good, and it's furious, and it's punky, kind of like these, but I just don't think it has, I just don't think it has the impact as some of the others. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the songwriting is better on this one, um, the impact's better on these, like the heaviness, and the craziness is better on, like, Erga Karma and... Latex Cult and Nihil. So that would be my ranking for Impaled Nazarene. Again, I like pretty much all these albums. Um, from B onwards, I like all of them. Like, really good. I could swap a load. Like, Latex Cult could go higher. Nihil could go higher. Um, this could go into S. Tempted to, but leave it as it is. But yeah, I really like all these albums, and I like the band now. So there you go. Let me know your own rankings down below for this crazy band um and we'll see you again for another quest for metal